Seriously? Yeah. Oh, that's awful. Uh, I'm okay, though. Um, first piece I do is called Take Me Out Before and Before. Then the second piece is called Searching for Fortune of Fame. And then the last piece I do is called A Poet's Love Letter, quote unquote, RIP, which means Rested in Poetry. Um, I'll just start off with the first one. Damn it. I am the reason why they want to gun you down and lay you closer to me, six feet on the ground. Death is pursued by my tongue. You can't run, and to me your tears look like fun. I am the voice of the henchmen, straight shots of the little girl's body twitching. I am fluent in speaking suicide, tears rise, smile. My teeth rise to the homicide. I am the darker side, and my commands I sent out to the next genocide. I hope this world comes crashing on you. You live life fast, but I'm faster than you, much cunning than you, punishing you. Why? Because you're you. I am the enemy filled with envy, but you're on my side now, so follow me. I hope your sickness becomes virus, and that virus shuts your eyelids. I hope your tears cry out my name, and I hope my hatred drives out your veins. Cause I occupy fiends, veins, vacancy. I am the blood spill in the city. I am the motive of the prostitute. I am the one that the angels dare to salute. I am an eight-year-old soldier in size 13 boots. Now fuck that, I'm the voice that tells that boy to shoot. I am the nun's nightmare, the evil nose flare. Unfair, but I wish not to care. I am not man, but Damien, and I hate you. It's just that simple and plain. So wake up and smell the brimstone and call my hell your new home. I could have did. Searching for fortune and fame. A uh, dramatic change over a little change and a platinum loose, I like to call it a chain. Fame, such a lovely lust. Now, what would you do for just one touch? True lies lie in lines, and in the back of my mind, I know my ass is gonna fry. Guilty pleasures tickle demons with laughter. Paparazzi spark curiosity on what they capture. Your downfall is what they prey upon, and your soul is what they prey on. Uh, uh, rich man's depression leads to clicking Smith and Wessons, or an overdose, which just leads to a whole bunch of questions. A uh, daughter has a slut. A son that won't give heroin up is more of a reason to leave my wrist cut. Or to lie in a jacuzzi with a flow microwave. It'll be ironic to chisel God's name on my grave. Cause I sold my soul a long time ago. And Lord knows it was over silicones and gold. But you want it, so come take it. Your eyes told me you'll die to be famous. But just remember, you're outside looking inside, thinking these are tears of happiness that I cry. I can't see why you can't see past these scars. An addict as a wife, my life as a superstar. One thing we all adore, something we're dying for. 
Nothing but pain, stuck in this game, searching for fortune and fame. The one thing we all adore, something we're dying for. Nothing but pain, stuck in this game, searching for fortune and fame. Personification of poetry. It's like almost like a tribute to poetry for me. I love her. Yes, I adore the shape and mold her to womanly metaphors. It was love at first right, rather than first sight. She escapes with me from my state of plight. She has given me her gifts of premonition, which does nothing but magnifies my lyrical visions. She told me that she would give me whatever I lyrically want. So as I open my mouth, it is her that talks. She told me that lust would drift from her eyes like formless tears to form my rhymes. And then she introduced me to her cousin, Hip Hop. So every time I see him, it's always a nod with a steady rock. But she's my only addiction, my life's highlight. I'm not so into fruits, but I love the limelight. So she sweats out her love through my pants. So over all complications, she's my infatuation. The wordplay is foreplay, lies of temptation. I showcase the love in a circular rotation. And my friends tell me I'm crazy with the rhymes. But that only feeds into my theory of me losing my mind. Because if she ever did leave my side, my pen would run and hide. And I would cry and cry until I eventually died. And when my life does inspire, she probably would retire and lace my words in with the harmonies of the choir. And then she would bury me at 10 feet. Cause she always knew I was just that deep. And I will put a new meaning to these letters, R.I.P. Cause I'll be forever resting in poetry. Peace. <laughs>